Those people at the BBC are living in the past. They think they are superior and in a different class. Well, you can take your BBC and stick it up your ass. I work for LNN now. We work for London News Now, this is a story about a dog called Bill and his blind friend, Ben. It seems that Bill will do just about anything to look after Ben, uh, except when it involves dog biscuits. Vicky, go! Over there. It's over there. It's over there, <laughs> come on. Uh, two large gin and tonics, please, and uh, make mine a stiff one. My name is Vince Rogers. Me and my van are available for hire. To you, free of charge, as long as you're interesting. The girls opened up one of the bin liners in the back of the van and got a bit of a shock. <laughs> it is, it is this yours? <laughs> put these in the track. We now, found a bag of rude magazines in our van. Oh, look, there's even more in front. <laughs> no! No, no! It's not mine. If you hate people who are obsessively tidy, then you're going to have no problems with Albert. Well, mate, well, me. He has, shall we say, a relaxed attitude to housework. In the front room is his friend, John. Nice, how are you? Meanwhile, Albert celebrates the deal by laying on some refreshments. Do you want a cup of tea? Um, I'm more ice actually for the moment, thanks. Yeah. You are related to Madonna. You are Madonna's sixth cousin through marriage. You are Prince William's 13th cousin. What do you think about that? <laughs> that you are David Beckham's fifth cousin, twice removed. You are Tony Blair's third cousin. Oh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> How do you feel about that? Terrible. <laughs> 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 We're cousins, aren't we? Apparently so. Yeah. What will they think of next? Thank you, Andrew. Vince, you've had a stinking week. Yeah, absolute garbage it was. Still, I did get to find out about the Dome's Living Island Zone. You know, one thing I can say, without fear of contradiction, is that the Living Island Zone is going to be a complete load of rubbish. So, as is normal for this sort of thing, they built a model and put it in a wind tunnel to test it out. The labs are just over here, actually, in Teddington, Middlesex. Uh, next on our little tour behind the scenes, these are the dressing rooms where the presenters get made up. Um, this is Alistair Stewart's. You all right? Yeah, fine, nearly ready. Okay. And Mary Nightingale's dressing room is just over here. I think she's in. Let's find out, shall we? Mary? <laughs> Better give her another five minutes, I think. And it's important to get things right. What if they let loose someone on the street who didn't know what he was doing? Excuse me, sir. Are you the owner of this vehicle? <laughs> this is an off-road car in the middle of Soho. That's worth a okay. ticket. You're on double to yellow lines, yeah. twice, simultaneously. Yeah. That's brilliant. It would appear that your correspondence has been volunteered to get into the skin as a bit of a demonstration. And who am I to refuse a simple request like that? But all of this is making me a bit peckish. Excuse me, um, can I buy some fruit, please? Certainly, what would you like? Take a wild guess. Uh, excuse me, lads, I'm the star of this uh -huh. show, if you don't mind. Anyway, you can see Vic and Bob live on stage from tomorrow night. In Hammersmith. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, you Sorry. <laughs>